Welcome, welcome, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May TBR. Um, it does look like it's just about to storm outside, which will be dramatic and quite enjoyable, but apologies if the light changes, I guess. So I have got five books in my TBR for May. I think I've managed to hit all of my challenges, maybe. Um, so without further ado, the first list, the first list, the first book is Mort by Terry Pratchett, which is a fantasy comedy to continue my reread of the discard. Um, I'm having so much fun reading these books, they're great. This month is Mort, as I said. This apparently is one of the most popular books from the Discworld series, kind of in general. The synopsis for this one is Death comes to us all. When he came to Mort, he offered him a job. Death is the Grim Reaper of the Discworld. He loves cats and is baffled by humanity. Um, it's an offer Mort can't refuse and a dream job until Mort falls in love with Death's daughter. Um, so, yeah, I know this story quite well. Um, but I was, just trying to, I was just about to say Death is one of my favourite kind of um, sub-series. This is the first in the Death series as well, um, but I'm not sure I can choose which character sub-series is my favourite. Okay, the next book on my TBR is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is a sci-fi mystery thriller. I wanted to read this book for such a long time. Um, but essentially, um, I don't write things down, so I kept thinking about the fact that I wanted to write this book and then forgetting what it was called. Um, I'm not even entirely sure I know what it's about, I just know that it has got good reviews and every time I read the synopsis it sounds intriguing. So, Jason Desson is walking home thinking about his life when reality shatters. Are you happy in your life? Are the last words he hears before a mass adapter um, knocks him out? He wakes up in a different life. His wife is not his wife, his son has never been born, and he is a celebrated genius. And he has to work out whether this world or the previous one is a dream. It just makes me want to read it. I also know that I think he did the Wayward Pine series, and I remember reading the first one of that and really enjoying it, which is similar kind of um, discussion about what's real and what's not real. Um, so it should be interesting. Okay, so the next book for May will be um, The Cruelest Month by Lewis Penny. Um, this is a crime mystery, police procedural slash kind of cosy crime. Um, this series is a series that's set in Three Pines, which is a small village, and I think officially is called the Inspector Gamash series. I've read the first two in this series and really enjoyed them. Um, so this is, this is the one that fills in my finishing off of series. Although, can you ever finish off crime series? There's so many books in them. Um, but I'm going to try. The, I do really like the inspector in this one, and particularly in this series it's quite nice because you get to know the characters in the village quite well, or I have done so far. The synopsis particularly for this book is when some villagers decide to celebrate Easter with a seance, they are hoping to be they're hoping to rid this town of its evil until one of the party dies of fright. Was it natural or were they helped along? Um, Inspector Gamash is called in to investigate. The next book on my May TBR is The City and the City by China Meville. I recently talked about this book in my recent um, book haul, I'm not sure if it was one before this or one before that, doesn't matter I guess. So the stops is all the kind of discussion around the book is that it's a murder mystery set between two cities. To get into the second city you have to go through a border crossing journey as psychic as it is physical, a shift in perception. So during this he has to deal with people who are trying to destroy the neighbour city and people who are trying to join the team together. It sounds fascinating. Don't know huge about it. This is the one that was billed as weird crime. Should be fun. The next one again was one in my recent book haul. Um, couldn't wait very long to pick them up. And this would be Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. A uh, story about memories, melancholy story, fantasy, magic realism. So again, a middle-aged man um, visits his hometown for a funeral and V visits his memory from when he was a child. Um, should be very quick. It's a very pretty book. Um, so yeah. So the final book on my May TBR would be um, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie to continue on my job on my Poirot or my Agatha Christie read run. Um, this one is apparently considered to be one of her most controversial mysteries, so that would be very interesting to see if it rates controversial against um, some of the other more recent um, fantasies, crime fiction. I'm sure it won't, but um, would be interesting to find out anyway. Obviously this is a crime, um, classic and murder mystery. Uh, so, synopsis for this would be, a widow dies from an overdose, not 24 hours later, Roger Ackroy, her fiancé, her fiancé? Fiancé is murdered. Baffling case involving blackmail and death. 
that's actually six books. I obviously couldn't count in the beginning. I think I missed one when I was going through them. Um, I think I'm going to manage it. Six is a lot for me, but um, I've already started reading some of them and um, blitzing through books currently. So I think I'll manage it. Uh, I hope you have an exciting May TBR yourself and I wish you many hours of wonderful reading. I'll see you in the next video.